the baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest man on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking the smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. significant title in combat sports, no argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. More than five years apart, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. We send it inside the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 220 pounds. Fighting out of Pyongyang, North Korea, presenting the challenger, the Cyclone. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Chong. All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. The fighters touch him up. underway and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with tonight though he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything and that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage but we know what a high level striker is and this guy is as high level as we've ever seen in the ufc all right here we go first round is underway no denying the big reach advantage for him tonight we'll see if he can get that jab going early look for him to circle on the outside use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Oh, nice punch there by Choi. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single follow tie. 
Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Takedown defense holds up. And they set. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Nice punch by Chor. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. So both guys landing it well here. Good action early. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Big roundhouse now just misses. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with his beautiful leg kick. Oh, he's wearing it now, bleeding from his cheek. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? And he landed the right hand there. Just a slip there. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Beautiful leg kick throw. Beautiful strike. Visibly limping here. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Got the single collar tie. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Nice punch, man. Joy gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Look at the turtle in that kick. Oh, eats a knee. And they separate. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Back to the jab now, no good. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Ooh, we what a right hand by this young man. Big ball from punch land. Now we get back to range. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Overhand lands flush. Joy gets hit by that leg kick. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. What a round. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going.
throwing every part of himself into the big leg kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab is working so well that if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Punch over top. Oh, that right hand is on point. Blocks the shot. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. A little single collar tie there. Oh! oh nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge of reach, it's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Checks that leg kick. Oh, that's a nice try. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Pretty significant well to the left side. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Cable inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Lands an outside leg kick of his own. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the block. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Just out of range with that right hand. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such tough. He's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. 90 seconds remain in the round. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside. The triangle looks pretty tight here. We'll see if he can get out of it. It might be over. I mean, he stayed in there. Oh, wow, oh! And this might just be a matter of time. Wow! All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out and just go for the finish. Oh, he continues to land a high... Whoa! He's going serve him up. Go get him. Seconds winding down in round two. Ten minutes in the books. 
right, so there's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights, DC, and there was a big knockdown there. Thought he might get the finish. We'll see if he gets it in the next round. Well, if he lands that shot again, if he lands that shot again, it will be over. It will be a finish. You don't recover from two of those types of strikes. He found the right moment, he found the opening, and landed that big strike. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Punch is blocked. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Oh! Suffocating work from the top here by the Korean Super Bowl. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. And back to his feet. Look at the rip action that comes from him throwing that kick. The Korean Super Boy gets in the clutch. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Ooh, head. Oh, oh. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly leg. Oh! He's out! Yo! Wow! That was nasty! <laughs> you knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at one minute, 54 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by... So heavyweight title retained as the headline inside this arena here tonight. Congratulations.